EA, 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 EA. What the hell have you done? First of all, the name of the new app. FIFA Mobile. Not FIFA 17 Mobile, FIFA Mobile. Already it can tell you that app is not around what FIFA should be. Are you in need of great graphic designs? Then head on over to Twitter and follow at FIFA Irish Player to receive the best cheap graphic designs. And also use the discount code FIFA GFX for a cheeky little discount. Link in the description. Yo guys, how's it going? Um, welcome back to another video here today. Today, if you haven't noticed already, FIFA 17 Mobile Wrapped. It's needed. It is actually needed. Why? Why the hell have EA just done what they've done to FIFA Mobile? The past experiences, FIFA 15 was probably one of the best FIFA Mobiles we've ever seen. And it was nothing like console anyway. So this year it got updated to FIFA 15, new season. We got a new app with incredible gameplay and EA have just decided to go and downgrade the whole game. Like, I do not understand, but if you do not know guys, EA have done some live stream of FIFA Mobile and give us some news about the brand new app. So first of all, before we get into it, we've got Tweet 1 and Tweet 2. Tweet 1, the first screenshot we got given, Attack Mode. What is this exactly like? Oh, Madam Mobile. What does it look exactly like? Madam Mobile. What else does it look like? NBA Mobile. Oh, EA, what the hell have you done? And yeah, guys, what basically I'm going to do for you guys today is talk through the whole new live stream with you guys. I'm going to go back through it and break it down in specific bits. So why I am so annoyed right now with what FIFA Mobile is going to be like. So I'm excited to announce the new FIFA Mobile launch coming this fall on I. Whoa, 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 pause that right there. This fall hold on a minute they've not even got an exact release date they've got an app all prepared which is going to be the next new thing they've not even got a release date fifa 17 for console has got a release date why has it mobile did ea not give one about mobile what's wrong with mobile it makes no sense ios android and windows devices supporting 19 languages this year okay first positive it supports 19 languages well it gets all over the well, that's probably the first good thing we hear about this new one. Uh, mass device coverage we support all the way down to the, the 4S and the S3. Whoa! EA, the first thing right there, if you look on the left hand side under attack mode, live events, attack mode, leagues, season, my team, store, plans, market. The one thing we wanted in FIFA 17, FIFA 17 mobile was foot draft. What haven't you given us? You haven't given us FIFA 17 for starters, and you haven't even given us foot draft. What does that look like straight away? Oh, it reminds me completely to the spot image of Madden Mobile. Why? I just don't get it. Uh, we're going big with this one. We're excited about it. You're going big with it, are you? You're going big with the new game that looks exactly like a previous game that you've already released. It looks nothing like FIFA. Never mind the tweet that said it's got nothing to do with FIFA. They removed fitness. They removed all types of consumables including contracts and stuff like player position modifiers etc etc. They've now got none of that. It should be unlike any FIFA mobile product you've played before. It's going to be like no other FIFA mobile products because it's not even FIFA mobile. It looks nothing like what FIFA 17 should like. Why doesn't it look like this? Why doesn't it look like this? Why doesn't it look like this either? By the way, link to the fruit designs, the guy who made two of them menus. Link is in the description. Make sure you go and check it out. Why doesn't it look like what console is going to look like? Why doesn't it look like some concepts? 
that look like FIFA 17. That is all we wanted. A brand new game that was about FIFA 17, like FIFA 15 was like. The old design, it looks exactly like console, only if we could keep the actual gameplay that FIFA 16 Mobile ended up having. I don't get it. We've completely redesigned and rebuilt this game from the ground up. You've redesigned the game, you've rebuilt the game. Yes, yeah, sure you have. That explains why it looks completely like Madden Mobile. Uh, so from a tech standpoint, it's lightweight. It downloads in under 100 megs, which is great. Load times are super fast, so you get into the game really quickly, which is... Okay, that's not too bad. Downloads in 100 megabytes. But what does it suggest? The app is lightweight itself. It's got nothing in there that FIFA should be like. It's not even got good gameplay. That's why, it, like, the megabyte-ness is so little. It makes no sense here why you can't just make a game that we wanted. I don't care if it takes up two gigabytes of storage. I really don't care. Only if it's an app that we can enjoy. Instead of it looking like the apps of the games that supposedly only looks like a game that's actually done successful. It doesn't mean that FIFA is going to do successful because it looks like a game that has already done successful for you guys. It makes no sense. FIFA 16 Mobile had a massive downside. It took at least two minutes to connect through to your opponent. Therefore, we get a quick loading game. But why is that? Because EA have gone and taken away online season. That's why you can only play the attack because the guy can't defend against your own attack. You're basically playing against the CPU. That makes the game boring here. That's why no one plays single player season unless they're offline. That is why the, why the whole point in FIFA is to be against other people online. That's what makes it fun because all the, all the opponents are different. Some people are better, some people are worse. It makes no sense. It's great from a mobile gamer's perspective. And from a design perspective, we've created experiences that really fit within a mobile gamer's life. So whether you have 30 seconds while you're waiting for a coffee or three minutes while you're waiting for class to start or 30 minutes while you're on the bus going to work. Well, we do not want a game that's going to last short because we want to enjoy the experience. It just proves that could the game so short, we're not even going to enjoy it. We can't even defend against our own opponent. That, it makes no sense. EA, EA. EA, what have you done to FIFA Mobile? Yeah, this is our all-new attack mode. This is what I'm most excited about in our game this year. This is a, a brand new way to experience a football match. Right. The idea behind it is an action-packed, turn-based match that's asynchronous. You play your portion of the match, you send it over to your opponent, and then when they're ready to play, they play their portion, pass okay. it back to you, which is really cool. What's exciting is Ooh. it's a really quick match it's only 75 seconds so oh geez. Ooh, so it fits cake. in with the mobile gamers lifestyle perfectly when they have that three minute to play something and you only play your offensive possessions which you only attack only, only attack. attack okay the brand new attack mode that make why can you we, the whole point is to stop people conceding we can't do that on FIFA anymore we have no power to defend no power to defend all we can do is attack on a game mode that looks exactly like FIFA 15 new season. It looks like the old generation. That's why it's compatible with older generations. Why couldn't they made a separate app that's suitable for old generations? Why people with the newer generations don't have to downgrade to the old game? It makes no sense here. We don't just play FIFA on mobile because we have a lack of time. We want to enjoy the experience just as much as console. Why? don't EA get that? Why can't they put across what we want as well? It makes no sense. And it looks like, so I'm seeing all the authentic club names, kits, badges, etc. all in the game. Absolutely. 30 plus leagues, 650 clubs, uh, 17,000 players. Wow. Uh, we'll be updating all year round. Okay. 30 plus leagues, 17,000 players. What does that mean? You can only play against the CPU. Why can't we play against other opponents online? That is the whole thing. We don't want to play against the CPU all the time. It just makes the game boring. If you go online to, to YouTube, everyone plays online seasons unless online seasons is down. EA, you really messed up this game. You really have. Back to the tweets. Tweet 1. 
looks completely like Madame Mobile. Tweet 2! This one annoys me. If you look at the car, look at the car design. Oh, how amazing. And it's got a galaxy. A bloody galaxy in the background. Who wants to play with a galaxy in the background where Luke Skywalker is? It looks exactly like Star Wars mixed with Madden Mobile and NBA Mobile, EA Live. What, what, what benefit do we get from seeing a galaxy in the background? Why, why isn't it look like console? We want something that is familiar to console. It makes no sense. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video right there. It's probably going to be a near 10 minute video. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. But yeah, FIFA Mobile rant over. I'm going to try it for at least a month. But if it doesn't work out, I'm going to stick to FIFA 16 Mobile because I don't have a console myself. And by the look of it, I'm not going to end up enjoying this game. So hopefully, FIFA 16 Mobile gets updated to FIFA 16 Mobile new season. But for now, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Stay sick, stay epic, and peace out.